Have you ever felt jealous in your relationship? It's a question that might strike a chord in many of us. Jealousy, you see, is an emotion as common as love or anger. It's woven into our human fabric, a part of our emotional tapestry. Now you might be thinking, uh, sure, I've been a little green-eyed now and then, but it, it's not a big deal, right? Well, not necessarily. Jealousy in small doses can even be healthy, serving as a signal that we care about our relationships and don't want to lose them. But when it starts to consume our thoughts, dictate our actions, and sow seeds of doubt and mistrust, that's when it becomes a problem. Yes, jealousy is a common emotion, but it's also a complex one. It can be a cocktail of fear, insecurity, anger, and sadness. It can be triggered by a range of factors, from a partner's interaction with someone else, to our own insecurities or past experiences. It can make us question our worth, doubt our partners, and even sabotage our relationships. The key to navigating jealousy, like navigating a stormy sea, is understanding. Understanding that it's a normal emotion, not a sign of weakness or a character flaw. Understanding that it's not about your partner's actions, but about your reactions. Understanding that it's not a verdict on your relationship, but a signal that something needs attention. The good news? Jealousy doesn't have to be a relationship wrecker. It can be a relationship checker, a catalyst for communication, growth, and deeper understanding. But to get there, we first need to acknowledge it, to pull it out from the shadows and examine it under the light of awareness. So let's embark on this journey together, exploring the labyrinth of jealousy, not as a monster to be feared, but as a guide to be understood. Let's strip it of its power to harm and instead harness its power to heal and grow. Because understanding jealousy, my friends, is the first step to dealing with it. Ever wondered what causes jealousy in the first place? We all have, haven't we? It's like a puzzle, a mystery, and we're the detectives trying to crack the code. So let's put on our detective hats and delve into this further. Jealousy, like any other emotion, doesn't just appear out of thin air. It's rooted in something deeper, something more complex. One of the most common sources of jealousy is past experiences. Perhaps you've been hurt before, betrayed, or let down. Those memories can stick around like an unwanted house guest, and they can trigger feelings of jealousy in your current relationships. Then there are insecurities. We all have them, don't we? Those little nagging doubts that whisper in our ears. Maybe it's about how we look, how we talk, or how successful we are. These insecurities can fuel jealousy, making us worry that our partner will find someone better. Someone who doesn't have the flaws we see in ourselves. And let's not forget about trust issues. Trust is like a delicate vase. Once it's broken, it's tough to put it back together. And if you've had your trust broken in the past, it can make you more susceptible to jealousy. You might find yourself constantly on the lookout for signs of betrayal, even when there's no reason to be suspicious. Identifying these root causes is like finding the key to a locked door. Once you know what's driving your jealousy, you can start to address it. You can work on healing old wounds, building your self-confidence, and fostering trust in your relationships. Remember, it's perfectly normal to feel jealous from time to time. What matters is how you handle it. And the first step in handling it is understanding it. So don't shy away from digging deep and uncovering the root cause of your jealousy. Knowing the root cause of your jealousy is a significant step towards managing it. So let's take that step together, shall we? After all, every journey begins with a single step. And this journey, the journey to a healthier, happier relationship is one worth taking. How often do you talk to your partner about your feelings? It's a question that might make you pause, but that's okay. It's a question that's meant to make you think. And it's a question that's central to this discussion on dealing with jealousy in a relationship. Open communication, it sounds simple enough, right? But when it comes to feelings of jealousy, things can get a bit tricky. It's important to remember that jealousy is a natural emotion. It's not something to be ashamed of, but rather something to address head on. And the best way to do that? You guessed it, open communication. Imagine you're in a boat and jealousy is a leak. Now you could ignore it, let it fester, and eventually your boat will sink. Or you could face it, patch it up and sail smoothly. Open communication is the tool that helps you patch up that leak. It's the key to understanding each other better and strengthening your relationship. So how do you communicate feelings of jealousy without causing further harm? Start by expressing your feelings without blaming your partner. Use I statements. Instead of saying, do you make me jealous when you... Try saying, I feel jealous when... It's subtle, but it shifts the focus from your partner's actions to your feelings. Remember, it's not just about talking, but also about listening. 
When your partner speaks, listen to, understand not to respond, listen without interrupting, without planning your rebuttal. Just listen. And finally, be patient. Open communication is a journey, not a destination. It takes time and practice, but the rewards are well worth the effort. It's also important to remember that it's okay to seek help. If you're finding it difficult to navigate these conversations, consider reaching out to a professional. They can provide you with the tools and guidance you need to communicate effectively. Remember, communicating your feelings is a sign of strength, not weakness. So the next time you feel a twinge of jealousy, take a deep breath and start a conversation. It might just be the best thing you do for your relationship. Do you trust your partner completely? A simple yet profound question that holds the key to the longevity and quality of your relationship. Trust, as ethereal as it may seem, is the bedrock of any successful relationship. It's the glue that holds everything together. But what does it really mean to trust someone and how do you go about building it? Trust, in essence, is the belief that someone will behave as you anticipate. It's the confidence that your partner will be there for you, will respect you, and most importantly, will not hurt you intentionally. It's the assurance you feel when you know your partner's actions will align with their words. And it's this trust that can help quell the green-eyed monster of jealousy. But how do we cultivate this trust? Like a garden, trust needs time, patience, and consistent effort to grow. It starts with honesty. Be truthful with your partner even when it's uncomfortable. Transparency builds trust. So share your thoughts, your fears, your dreams, and your doubts. Let them see the real you. Next, be reliable. Follow through on your promises. Show up when you say you will. Consistency in words and actions build trust. And remember, trust is not a one-time thing. It's a continuous process that needs to be maintained. Consider trust as a bank account. Each trustworthy action is a deposit, while each breach is a withdrawal. And just like a real bank account, it's much easier to deplete than to build up. So guard it carefully and invest wisely. Respect is another crucial element of trust. Respect your partner's boundaries, their feelings, and their individuality. Recognizing and valuing your partner as a separate individual with their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences fosters trust. Finally, trust needs open communication. It's the oil that keeps the trust engine running smoothly. Regular, open, and honest communication helps to nip any potential issues in the bud, preventing misunderstandings that can lead to jealousy. A solid foundation of trust can help keep jealousy at bay. So let's start building that foundation today because trust, once established, can be the most beautiful and powerful aspect of a relationship. When was the last time you did something just for yourself? In the whirlwind of life and relationships, we often forget a vital piece of the puzzle, self-care. This is not just about bubble baths and spa days. It's about nurturing your interests, passions, and even your solitude. When you take time for yourself, you're not only rejuvenating your spirit, but also cultivating self-love. This self-love then radiates outward, fostering healthier, more balanced relationships. Imagine this, you're a painter, but you haven't picked up a paintbrush in ages because you've been so wrapped up in your relationship. You feel a pang of jealousy when your partner finds joy in their hobbies. But what if, instead of letting jealousy seep in, you picked up that paintbrush again? By reclaiming your passion, you can mitigate feelings of jealousy and even inspire your partner to do the same. Remember, taking care of yourself is just as important as taking care of your relationship. Sometimes we all need a little help. There's no shame in admitting that, especially when it comes to complex emotions like jealousy. When jealousy starts to cause significant problems in your relationship, it might be time to consider seeking professional help. Therapists and counselors specialize in helping people navigate their emotions and relationships. They can provide you with tools and strategies to manage jealousy and improve your relationship. It's like having a guide who can help you navigate through a dense forest of emotions. It's important to remember that seeking professional help is not a sign of weakness, but rather an act of courage. It shows that you value your relationship enough to work on improving it. A professional can give you a fresh perspective and help you uncover the root causes of your jealousy. Don't hesitate to seek professional help when needed. You're not alone.